Hi everyone, in this video I'll be going over Apply Your Learning question number 2, parts 1 and 2 from the Significant Figures unit. Question number 2 asks us to use the rounding rules to provide an answer to the following cal calculations with the correct number of significant figures. Let's start with number 1. 34.0756 plus 92.1, remember to line up the decimal points, equals what? So based on our addition and subtraction significant figures rule, the number of significant figures in this problem will be determined by the fewest number of decimal places in the calculation. So since 92.1 has the least number of decimal places, we will cut off our answer according to the last decimal place of the one with the less with less decimal places. So 92.1 has less decimal places, so we'll stop where 92.1 stops. So let's go ahead and add like we would normally. And we get 126.1756. And since we have to cut off at this point, we will have to round our 7 up to the tenths place. And based on our rounding rules, we see that if the number to be removed is more than 5, which is our 7 here, the preceding number should increase by 1. So as a result, based on our significant figures and our ru rounding rules, we should end up getting 126.2 as the answer to part 1. Let's move on to number 2, or part 2. 12.98 times 8.2 equals what? Well, based on our multiplication and division rules for significant figures, the number of significant figures in this case will be determined by the fewest number of significant figures in the calculation. So if we count the number of significant figures in each of our values that we're multiplying, 12.98 has four significant figures, or sig figs for short, and 8.2 has two sig figs. If you're not sure how I counted those, be sure to watch the other part of the Significant Figures Unit videos. So since 8.2 has the smallest number of sig figs, we want to maintain that two sig figs rule in our product. So if we multiply this out, we should get 106.436. And if we want only two sig figs or significant figures, then we need to round it off after the 1 and the 0. So the 6 will need to round up to the 0. And since 6 is also greater than 5, then our preceding number should increase by 1, and we end up getting 110 as our answer.